summit today on behalf of youth delegates. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. <clears throat> As we turn to another voice from the continent of Africa, South African activist and professor Patrick Bond, Democracy Now!'s Mike Burke caught up with him at Saturday's March for Climate and Social Justice here in Warsaw. I'm Patrick Bond in uh, Durban, South Africa, the Center for Civil Society. And two years ago in Durban, the COP17 was a terrible disappointment. And uh, I'm here with uh, a lot of the activists from the Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, other groups, really to see if uh, we can revive the momentum of climate justice, which we sort of lost at that point. And uh, the enemy team, which is the bankers, uh, and the bureaucrats are trying to revive their vision, carbon trading as the core solution. It was in the Kyoto Protocol, and the question is whether they're going to find any more money and subsidies to bring it back. We hope not. What do we want? Climate justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The carbon trading idea that the uh, COP19 is probably going to try to revive at the global scale really has been uh, absolutely a failure here in Europe, and partly because the Polish government and the corporations have abused it so much. But um, in general, the idea that we should turn over the planet to bankers to allow them to arrange an efficient trading of the right to pollute, carbon trading, from the Kyoto Protocol. Al Gore was very much supportive then. That's really not worked. And now Jim Yong Kim, the World Bank president, has put that back onto the agenda a few weeks ago. So I'm quite worried that unless we show more of the opposition and the demand for absolute cuts, paying climate debt and not messing around with banker type solutions like trading rights to pollute. We might see this problem get much, much worse more quickly. It's what we call a false solution and therefore has to be contested along with all the other areas of debate here, especially the, the fact that again and again the United States will come to these meetings sabotage. And what I'm also worried about, they did an alliance the last time in Europe in Copenhagen with uh, Brazil, uh, with China, with India, and South Africa, the basic countries. And that was why the Copenhagen Accord was such a disaster. You know, basically big polluters slapping each other on the back. I pollute more, you pollute more, it's a deal. And that was the nature of the, the last major uh, effort to get protesters out on the street. So we have to really redouble our efforts to make sure that configuration doesn't occur again. South African activist and professor Patrick Bond speaking to Democracy Now!'s Mike Burke at Saturday's March for Climate and Social Justice here in Warsaw. Before we go to break, I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the facts and figures um, that are all over the hallways here at the National Stadium uh, here in Warsaw, where the Climate Summit is taking place. <clears throat> written in Polish and in English, it says, worldwide, one in four mammal species are now threatened by extinction. Likewise, one in eight bird species, one in three species of fish, two in five amphibians, and more than half the flowering plants and insects. Species of fauna and flora are today disappearing between 1,000 and 10,000 times more rapidly than their natural rate of extinction. We're talking about a sixth episode of mass extinction, for which this time, man alone is responsible. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, we're going to go to the convergence space where hundreds of people go to organize for what happens outside the summit and sometimes inside. And then we speak of representatives, again, of Africa. Stay with us.
Roma musicians in the streets of Warsaw. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We are broadcasting from Warsaw, Poland, from the UN Climate Summit. For the first time in 19 years, 